Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming, and on this video tutorial, we're going to do two things. We're going to make a super adorable tea towel with two colors using the stencil that came in the January Craft Club box. And then we're going to make a like a two-dimensional sign, and I'm going to show you how to make it elevated using the project from Craft Club yesterday and this 11 and a half by 11 and a half double-sided wood frame panel. So it should be really good. I'm also going to show you the stuffies that we made yesterday. Oh my gosh, here's a quick sneak, sneak peek. So stay with me to the very end. Alrighty. Um, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Uh, I definitely am because today was my first Bible study back after Christmas break and oh my gosh, my soul has been so thirsty for God's word that I felt like weeping almost the whole entire time I was there. Uh, but anyways, I'm home and I'm ready to get to crafting. So let's do this first. Okay, do you guys, did you join me yesterday? when I showed you the craft club for January 2023, you got this um, adorable gray colored, grayish green colored mason jar with some twine and some little flowers, this adorable little stencil, you got a new squeegee, and you got a little pouch of white chalk paste. And we made this. And then I showed you guys the idea of putting it in a wood frame, and so many people said they liked that idea that I thought, well, let's do it. Let's make it. So before I came live, so I'd be able to show you the whole entire thing, I took this cute stencil, which is called a heart, all over pattern, and I stenciled it on my white side of this board using some gray chalk paste called Cool Gray. And this is how it turned out. Turned out really cute. So now what we're gonna do, um, where are my blocks? Okay, we're gonna use some of these little square blocks that I have bought frequently from Dollar Tree. They look just like this. And we're gonna make it basically stand out from the board. And I think it's gonna be adorable. This chalk paste looks great with the color of this mason jar. And you guys, I used the actual mason jar as my pattern for making these. And I finished them, so I want to show you the finished thing before I hop off. So, let's hop right in. Okay, what I'm going to do basically, I think, is I'm going to glue these little squares on the back of my mason jar. And then we'll just glue them right to the board. How's that sound? Okay. And I don't think it really matters where you put them. You don't want to put them too far out so that they're visible. Uh, let's see what I'm doing. You could use the Jenga blocks also if you have those little mini Jenga blocks from um, Dollar Tree. Or you don't even have to have this elevated, but I think adding this to a sign adds a lot to it. I also used some of the jute that came in the kit, and I still have more left to make this little bow. So Okay, so now it has four little legs on it, like it's a little, almost like it's a... A riser. I'm going to get my ruler because <laughs> I want to make sure this is reasonably centered. And just realizing that's going to be kind of hard to do. I am going to do a little trick where I put my red squeegees on my board. This is how I craft. I figure out a way to make it happen. So 
So I'll just line it up with the squeegees when I drop it down. Um, I could use E6000 glue on this, but I might want to pull it off at some point and do something different. So um, I also wanted to mention that I didn't do anything to prepare this uh, 11 and a half by 11 and a half wood panel board thingy. I didn't do anything to prepare it other than lay my stencil on it and it was just fine. But if you're using a brand new stencil, do be sure to fuzz it really well. So look how it's kind of popping out and I think it looks super cute in just about any kind of an easel or hanging or just propped up. I think I'll put this in my kitchen. So what do you guys think? Isn't that cute? Okay, so just to just to explain, this is the stencil that comes with the January 2023 Craft Club. It's not available any other way. You have to be a member of the club and be getting the January um, 2023 Club project to get this stencil. So if you haven't joined Craft Club yet, you should. Oh my gosh. Um, there's so many things. Every month it's a different craft. It's a three month commitment. And then after that, if you just have not liked it, you can cancel. Although I haven't, I mean, I can't imagine any reason why you wouldn't like it. It's completely different every month. You get everything that you need. A surface, which other craft clubs just give you a stencil and a couple of little packets of whatever the medium is. You get this surface, you get a stencil, you get one or two packets of the medium, you get a new squeegee, and then you get whatever the doodads are for the project. So it's, it's so much more. Okay, so that was the first thing I wanted to show you. Um, this is a tea towel that I just whipped up in about three minutes. It says, the secret ingredient is always love. It's kind of hard to read on my screen here. It looks kind of pixelated, but in person it's visible. And I'm going to do this white tea towel in red and black ink now. And then we'll look at these completed adorable um, stuffy that we made using this kit. Okay, so first thing you want to do is make sure you're working on the right end and cut off all these pesky tags. Um, this is the end that you, is. a lot of tea towels have this little hook thing, which tells you that this is the back and this is also not the side you want to stencil. You want to stencil the other end and um, I'm going to just put a couple paper towels underneath me because I don't have my little thing out, my little black craft mat out. And I'm just going to go by where the tea towel folds are. Okay, for this project, doing a tea towel, a t-shirt, a tote bag, a pillow, anything like that that will be needing to be washed or that could get damp or wet, you need to use ink. You cannot use chalk paste. There's no way to make chalk paste permanent for something like that. So you need ink, all right? And ink looks like this. It has the white caps. We're going to use black and red. Chalk paste, on the other hand, has a black cap. And what you got in your... Um, January Craft Club project box was uh, white chalk paste. So don't use that on fabric because it it's just going to become a big mess the first time you try to wash it. And there's no way to heat set it, spray it, or anything like that to make it really and truly permanent. So you need ink. Okay, so this is the stencil. And I've used it. Oh my gosh. Five times already, this is the sixth time. This is one thing I love about this um, craft club, especially if you haven't 
stenciled before, you don't have a lot of these kind of supplies, it's a great way to get started. It really is. You'll have a stencil that's reusable many, 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 many times. You'll have some medium that will come in a little pouch. Uh, let's see if I have any. You know, it'll look something like this, whatever the medium is. I just squeezed what was left over into my white chalk paste jar. So I don't, I'm not going to waste that. And, um, okay, so for this, I'm going to do the red first so I don't forget. And I was thinking, looking for a little squidgy. There's a little one, here's a little one. That we would do this top part that says the and the word love in red ink. So. When you're applying your ink, you really just want to get it on. Um, make sure everything's covered, that you want covered. Don't go over and over and over it. Resist that urge. And then when it is fully dry, you're going to heat set it on fabric with a hot iron set on cotton, no steam. And then your project will be fully washable, fully usable. So you can make t-shirts and wear them and wash them. You could make uh, sofa pillows or pillows for your bedroom and take the covers off of your pillow inserts and wash those. Uh, you make tea towels that you actually use, not just the pretty ones that hang on the stove. <laughs> My husband likes to use the tea towels that I make to um, clean the coffee pot. But anyways, they're fully, fully usable. And, okay, now I'm going to just grab these two little hearts right here. And we will peek in just a minute and see how it looks. And then I'm going to use black. I think, um, a good amount of people are kind of intimidated by the idea of inking. And I do it all the time. I'm not intimidated by it at all. It's, it's basically the same thing as using chalk paste. So just a different kind of a medium. Almost all the ways that you apply it are the same. And I love doing stuffies and that kind of thing. So stay with me because I'm going to show you all three of these stuffies. I finished up the third one last night. So all these projects were made using the one stencil that came in the January Craft Club, which I think that's awesome. I love that. Now I'm just pulling the excess blobs off. I'm not going to fuss with it too much because, oh, I do see a spot that I almost missed. Because I don't want to make a mistake. And when I start fussing, then I almost always mess something up. Okay. So, this is what it looks like. You um, do want to protect your surface underneath. I'll show you what this paper towel looks like. And also, and, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, that 
that is absolutely the cutest tea towel ever. This is going to go in a little tub of water over here. And it will just soak for a few minutes until I can get out to my kitchen to uh, rinse it. Look how adorable that is. <laughs> Whoops, it's crooked. Okay, so I will let this dry for, if I can stand it, at least four hours. And then I will heat set it with a hot iron set on cotton, no steam. I'll just be going over it for three or four minutes. I'll put a piece of parchment paper uh, in between my iron and this surface just to protect my iron. And then it'll be totally washable and everything. And this was the first one that I made. So I think those are adorable. This is the, the amount that went through. So you definitely want to unfold your tea towel. Don't stencil it while it's folded up or you'll have it go through and it'll look messy. And um, don't stencil it without something underneath it to protect your work surface. Okay, let's get the, let me pull out what, what I did, all with just this one craft club. Uh, pencil. I made this. Look how cute that is. It's it's elevated. This is adorable just in and of itself, but then when you add it to something that has a background, a pattern background, I think it turned out super cute. Okay, and then these are the stuffies. So this was the pink one that I had all finished and ready to show you guys yesterday when I was live. You guys, this is just canvas duck that I painted with Waverly Craft acrylic paint from Walmart in this color called Ballet Slipper and then a silver paint that had no label on it. I don't know where I got that. Then I stenciled it and then I used my favorite ink pens. Okay, so that's one, and then this is the other one. This is the blue one. I added this cute little bow with pom-poms and white grain ribbon with some little shiny silver uh, to the top of that one, and then here's the red. I, I absolutely love how they turned out. I got this shape by tracing this on my canvas duck. This color of red is called crimson. It's Waverly. Um, this one, I think is called agave. Mm. Yeah, it's agave. And these cost me, you know, virtually nothing to make. And they'd be great little gifts to anyone, you know, that take not much time to do. You just need your January Craft Club box, some canvas duck, some paint, that stencil. This is even the white chalk paste from the Craft Club box. And then I did use my pins because I love doing little dot, 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 dash, dot, 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 dash, and little swirly do's like on the top of this uh, canning lid. So that's what we made. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this very quick video and that it inspired and motivated you if you've been a member of Craft Club for a while, you should dig out the stencils that came in each one of the months that you received it and think about what you could make with it um, because those stencils are reusable so many times and they're just, they're great. Um, they make everything so much easier, all crafting. So um, anyways, if you haven't joined Craft Club yet, let me tell you about it real quick. 
it's $22.95 a month. It's a three month minimum commitment. After that, if you hated it, which I can't imagine that being the case, but you can cancel after three months. Um, so it's $22.95 plus your sales tax for your state. Some states don't have sales tax, but most of them do. And then $5 shipping. It'll come every month about the same time as when you ordered it the first time. So if you got your first box on the 16th, then next month, you'll get your next box roughly around the same time and the month after, roughly around the same time. And it comes with instructions. There's a video that they make every month. It comes with everything that you need for a whole entire project. A surface, a stencil, some medium, a new squeegee, and whatever the doodads are, which I have leftover doodads here. <laughs> and I have leftover chalk paste too. So, um, Oh, Diana's is very inspired, and she will be ordering the January kit. Yeah, for three months, you got to try it. Oh, my gosh. I have a whole basket of projects that I'm not going to pull out today, but, um, and all my stencils and stuff. It's, it's just a great way to give this a try. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for joining me. Have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what we'll be doing. I do have multiple things in progress. So it'll be something completely different because I like to completely shift gears every single day and do something different. Um, it'll be either um, faith, family, or flowers. We might do flowers, I don't know. But I would love to have you come back. If you haven't already liked and followed this page, um, you should. Feel free to sprinkle, do it this or this, or say something to me in the comments and that will increase the odds that Facebook will ever show me to you again. It really does increase the possibility it's not a guarantee. But you can come back to DIY Dreaming anytime you want by just typing DIY Dreaming in your search bar. And if you're watching on YouTube, take two seconds to subscribe to my channel and to like this video and feel free to comment there. I do answer questions there too. So if you want links, let me know. I'll grab them so you don't have to hunt anything down. And I'll just reply to your comment here with the links that you wanted. And you can do this. <laughs> you just press the link and it'll take you right there. So faith, family, flowers, and stuffies. Yes, lots of stuffies. Alrighty, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining me.